Hey everybody, welcome back to Azure Plays, more Shining Force City, where last time we went through the giant pompous flatland. Don't know why they called it that. But yeah, we now are able to access the death tunnel. But while we were on the pompous, we found a pretty good party member. A pretty good party member indeed. Domingo, who has Blaze 3 and Freeze 3. Yeah, he's still really good. And we also got a kind of a nice ring out of the deal as well. So how about I give this black ring from Roos... This one right over here. Over to Wendy. Yeah, you see that attack buff there? Keep that in mind because she's a wizard. The black ring can only be equipped by wizards, so just keeping that in mind. It's pretty much you are putting it on her or no one else. So pop that on. There we go. And in the meantime, let's actually equip said ring because we need to do that. So uh, boop, and then 10 extra attack. Yeah, why not? That thing allows you to use Blaze 2 when it's like in your inventory slash equipped yeah she can already do that so that's not really that big of a deal but now we're about to head into the death tunnel where we need to deal with the death magic mushrooms ah nick you have finally arrived welcome to the death tunnel the only way to gundal fort did you come to die like your friends before you Watch out for the traps! The exploding mushrooms are deadly! Where did you come from, Guardian and Fool? Shut up! Kashing! At least one of you survived! <laughs> Depending on how I read that, that could have been really, really sarcastic. Or not. It sounded more sarcastic the way I said it. Nick, how will we get through the traps? The traps we can't currently see. At all. So, how about we take a look at our map really quick here. Yeah, this is kind of a big battlefield, but it's not too big of a deal because, again, we could kind of go across it really quick. But we need to keep a couple things in mind here. We have some new enemies right over here. These evil pixies. They're not that bad, honestly. They're kind of fodder for the most part. We have the ghoul right up here, which, eh, okay, that's fine. And then we have the bishop who has the protect ring. Keep that in mind because the ghoul is the boss for this. If you kill the ghoul, Everything else dies. So if you just beeline to that thing, it's good for speed runs. But uh, yeah, you can't really do anything with Kashing here. He's just kind of blocking the exit. We can't just use these stairs. So we also have some chests in the area, as you can tell as well. This one has something in it, as well as this one all the way over here. So keeping that in mind, there is one chest over here as well that has nothing in it. Don't worry about that one. But there is an enemy right over here that has a heat axe. So that's for Roos. Keep that in mind. And we're just going to head forward from here. So, the magic mushrooms will appear as we go forward, so just kind of be on the lookout for them. Once they appear, try to get rid of them as soon as possible. Because what can happen if you leave them sitting around too long, they might just cast sleep on whoever's nearby. Not a good thing to happen, but you can get rid of them pretty dang easily. With Wendy even, who can just dish out the attacks now like no tomorrow. But once they appear, just try to get rid of them before they even have a chance to do anything to you. It should be okay. In the meantime, I'm just going to keep going forward. All right, straight up. And then you go straight up. And then Mayfair still hasn't gone yet, unfortunately, because she's currently my quote-unquote lowest level. Oh, yeah, there we go. Just kind of move you into the little corner over here. And there we go. There's a magical mush. Yeah, those things, if we kind of get a good look at them really quick. Yeah, they're not really anything too special. They can't move around. They're just going to stick where they're at because they're just kind of a trap. We just go in there and we just kind of bonk them. That's all we really need to do. Like that. Level three of Nick. Some good defense. That's that. We're just going to go like this as well and just do another bonk. There we go. And then Apis is going to move a little forward here. And Claude is just going to kind of gun it up here and then start attacking this worm. There we go. Level three? Three attack. Okay. I am totally okay with that. And then, Gion, can you do like a drill kick and just destroy this thing? There we go. That's what I like to see. That was just enough to. We also got to keep that in mind when it comes to being able to kill them since my Mayfair is only level 9 and I kind of need to take care of that. 
But in the meantime, since we have this lineup right over here, might as well just make use of this. There we go. Now those Elizabeth are kind of into uh, just killable territory now. All right, let's see. They are going to. All right. Okay. You had a spellcaster sitting right there with not a lot of defense. You got two attacks. That's probably why the game went for it. I don't know why it could have went for a better target, but oh well. I guess you're going to die. <laughs> Oopsie doodle, you're dead. There we go. He tried and didn't really get too far. Let's see. I'm gonna attack you in the meantime since you're kind of just right there. Works out for me. I mean, that's kind of killable territory for some people. In the meantime, Wendy's just gonna go this way since she could just bonk things to oblivion now. All right, I'm not exactly sure what they're all doing. Okay, I'm totally fine with that. Because Wendy can at least take some damage. And we got a counterattack for seven. All right, that works for me. Okay. Don't poison me, please. Okay, I'm fine with that. I did not get poisoned. Did not get poisoned. We are good. Meantime, Stock is just going to go over here and get the shot off right over here on this pixie. There we go. They're not going to move. You're going to move down and attack Nick. At least they are trying. <laughs> They're trying to uh, kill Nick. It's not really working, but uh, yeah. All right. There's the heat axe. The heat axe is capable of casting blaze. It's kind of nice and we want it. And thankfully they moved right next to the roost. So we're good there. You were attacking Wendy? That could either be a good or bad. Yeah, that's not awful. She does need healing, though. All right, speaking of healing, unfortunately, the only real person you can reach is Nick. So, uh, heal that four. <laughs> Thank you. You'll get to level 10 eventually, and then I can promote you. All right, they're not doing anything. You can actually move over here. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll get rid of this thing. There we go. You aren't doing anything. Uh, hmm. How much health do you got? You have like nearly full health, so I'm just going to use a blaze on you. There we go. It's not a lot of damage, but still something. In the meantime, heat axe, please. Thank you. And level four out of that. Attack one, but that's fine because we just got the heat axe, which gives us even more attack, so I'm okay there. In the meantime, let's see. I'm going to shoot this mushroom since it just appeared. Okay, <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen, <laughs> but it happened. Okay, that's two in a row now. We're off to a great start with that. Apis, uh, you are just going to move over here and you are going to grab this chest because it has a halberd in it. It's one range, but it's much better than what you have now, so might as well just give you that. Meantime, Wendy, you are just going to attack this mush right over here. Do a lot of damage. Yeah. In the meantime, we kind of need to heal Wendy. So, uh, yeah, let's let's do that. Oh, wait. Roos is almost dead, too. Um, I think, honestly, I'm going to heal Roos. There we go. And then Claude, you actually continue attacking this thing, please. Because that is a lot of damage we can get rid of. There we go. All right, that's another one down. You, how much health do you got? You have six. 
I would love to have Mayfair take care of that, but she can't reach that in the slightest, so I'm just gonna shoot it down. All right, that's one enemy out of the way. All right, and then we can move you over here to, in order to just kick this thing. Level three, attack two and defense three. Oh, okay. I'm fine with that one. You definitely need those stats. Ow. Even if you got an attack again, you still went out of killed Wendy. Speaking of healing though. Yeah, let's do that. Wendy could definitely use it. There we go. The gargoyle is finally moving. All right, good to know. You're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. I definitely need to start moving you down because there is a chest I want you to grab. In the meantime, um, hmm. Just start moving this way, actually. Because there's a lot of enemies we could deal with in other places. Let's get rid of this thing. At least try to. There we go. Level four? That was a terrible level up. What the heck was that? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Four and eight. Um, Let's get rid of this one because this one's a little bit more of a threat, honestly. There we go. Level three. Attack one. All right. Just seeing attack on Wendy now is just really, really good for me. And in the meantime, since you got a new weapon, we need to equip it. Yeah. Much better stats. Let's go right over... You know what? You can't really reach, but be a wall. Be a wall for the moment. Because Claude can reach this for the moment. Otherwise, I'll just take care of this. There we go. Level four. Attack three again. Okay, then. <laughs> I am totally okay with that. You're going to go over here. I'm going to see what that gargoyle does. Not exactly sure what they're planning on doing, but I just start moving everybody out to get an idea. Okay. That thing just gunned it. I was gonna say so much for my Apis wall of defense. <laughs> they just walked around him like it was nothing. That hurt. Okay, that's a problem actually. Uh, I don't know if Mayfair is gonna be able to get there before Shay gets attacked again, so I'm just gonna get this heal off. There we go. All right, that's a little bit more safety. You just go over here. I'm saving you for Mayfair to kill. <laughs> that's exactly what I am doing. It's good that you're out of the wall now because I can actually attack you. But speaking of attacking, instead of actually attacking, I'm gonna kind of guarantee the kill of hell. There we go. Yeah, six points of damage and 49 experience. Don't know level up. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, there's another magical mush. All right, you are just going to go down this way because we have a chest that I want you to grab. In the meantime, actually start attacking this thing. You are just going to hit it with freeze. There we go. All right, Claude, uh, you are in a teensy bit of trouble, but uh, let's see, which one do I want you attacking? E I mean, either way, what's going to happen is if I, actually, if I go over here, no, that won't matter because you can't even get around anyway. Uh, if I do this though, then we should be fine. I mean, that skeleton's still over there, so no, <laughs> but <laughs> trying to think of ideas. There we go. You actually can go over here and just attack this thing. There we go. As long as we don't get a second attack in, then Mayfair can get rid of that. You are just going to attack right over here. There we go. That's kill range for somebody. Okay, you're just going to move over here. I'm not going to... Actually, no, no, no. I'm going to move over here because I want... I still want Mayfair to get that kill. I definitely want her to level. In the meantime, this is a little bit of trouble. Yeah, that hurt. 
that hurt. As long as you don't get a second attack. And no. Okay. That kind of stinks a little bit, but I think we're okay. May have lost some uh, potential damage over there, but at least everybody can catch up on levels now. <laughs> so that's okay. All right, you are just going to drill kick this thing. I would love for you to get a second attack at some point. Okay. Wait. Why? Okay. <laughs> you're a sorcerer with MP. I know you're trying to copy Wendy and act all cool about it, but it's not exactly working in your favor there when you don't hit things. All right, speaking of attacking, get rid of you. So close. Got a level four out of it though. That, what was that level up, Stock? What the heck was that level up? All right, we're just gonna move forward a little bit here. Uh, anybody actually need healing nearby? Yeah, you kind of do. That works. I mean, it worked for a moment. <laughs> I need to heal again. All right, Mayfair, can we kill this thing, please? I want you to level. Let's do six. There we go. Exactly six, 48 experience, and you are finally level 10. So you can finally promote. All right, uh, I actually go down this way. I still want to get that chest. Meanwhile, you can move forward. And since we got a kind of a decent lineup over here, how about we just do Blaze's level two over here? I know Wendy actually using magic. It's kind of a shock. <laughs> Hey, you honestly, how much help do you got? A lot. Uh, how about you go and attack this thing instead? Because that is a uh, wrong one. Um, yeah, we'll just do that. There we go. All right, back over here. Four and then seven. You're going to... Probably level up no matter which one you kill, so I might as well just kill one of them. Or not. Alright, that's kind of surprising. Alright, and now you punch this bow rider. Can you imagine you're a bow wielder and you just see somebody come up and punch you? Like, you just had no time to repair your bow and you just get shot <laughs> by a fist. It's just like, <laughs> All right, that sorcerer needs to die. Wow, that was like pitiful. I'm okay with that. You're going to move over here and you're going to attack the sorcerer. I forgot to equip your axe. <laughs> That's fine. You still kill the thing. I can get it next turn. Meantime, you're gonna go over here and just kick this thing. All right, we're doing pretty good. Level four, three defense. I think that's what it said because I kind of skipped through it. Um, yeah, we do need to heal somebody. Yourself. All right, Mayfair, you pretty much are done for the day since you got your level up there. Meantime, you can move over here. Just move forward. You just kind of move forward as well. I'm going to move you just a teeny bit forward. I don't want to get everybody up there just yet. And I'm actually going to equip your axe. Yeah, because 
it's not a big difference, but having Blaze 2 as an extra attack, I am totally okay with that. Uh, how much health do you got? Eh. They are still not going after me, and I'm kind of okay with that. Alright, and we'll attack you finally. Alright, you can move forward right over here. Might as well just heal somebody. Oh, finally you moved, which is good, because I need to kill you, because you have the protect ring. Cool. <laughs> A lot of good work you did there. I'll just move you forward. Nick, finally, search this chest to get the critical sword. That's pretty much the best sword in the game for not Nick. I mean, it works for Nick, but there's still better equipment for Nick because he's main character and main character status. You know how this works. But for Nick, having it now is still really good. But I could equip it on somebody else like Claude if I wanted to just make him even more broken. But right now I can't even do that because Claude's dead currently. So it doesn't really matter too much. But at the end of the day, I think we're okay either way. In the meantime, I'm going to do freeze on the bishop. But either way, I'm still going to equip it on Nick. Uh, I'm just going to move you over here since nobody else can actually get in that position. And I'll just do Blaze level 2. Why not? You have no more MP, honestly. And yeah, you're not going to exactly kill the thing no matter what I do. And I can just have other people attack it anyway. And just kind of, you know, thinking of I should probably take a look at something really quick. Uh, let's see. Item. Give. Okay, you have space. You're good. All right. Attack. Reason for that is I want that protect ring. Thank you. And that is pretty much the protect ring that you would have in the beginning of the game. That I still need to buy a ton of them. So it's not exactly happening anytime soon. But yeah. Now that we have that, we can kind of just charge forward. And since Nyx has a sword as well, we're good there. Meanwhile, Kishin was just kind of laying on the ground the entire time. Blocking the staircase for us to actually leave. Right, Mayfair can go in and, you know what, you could heal Cray. All right. And a magical mush has appeared. Which, yeah, there it goes. Normally they wait like a turn before doing anything, but the game was like, you know what? I spawned, <laughs> might as well. Especially since it's like near the end of the battle anyway. But yes, critical sword. Yeah, that's a lot of extra goodiness. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna stay here. Nick has kind of just been out of the battle this entire time. Meanwhile, since you are right here, might as well just attack this mush since I had nothing better to do. There we go. Bruce is just going to go over here, and you know what? Use my heat axe, please. I have two enemies. And Blaze level two? Yeah. Do some damage. I'm surprised that thing didn't decide to nearly break itself in one go. <laughs> because they like to do that on me. But Wendy, get an extra attack in. Just do a decent chunk of damage right there to the boss. In the meantime, we can just attack this mush. I like how the game just spawned me more experience right at the end of the battle. So you get a more experience. What? What's that level up? What was that level up? <laughs> it's like weird. All right. Get rid of this thing. There we go. Can you get a level up? No, that's fine. It's a little a decent chunk of experience. All right, Gion, can you like just kick him in the back? Ah, it sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, that's convenient. 
you're still gonna get hit in the face now. You woke up and then you got, you, I don't know what happened first, him waking up or him getting smacked in the face. Either way, one of them happened and it probably hurt either way, I don't know. There you go, get rid of you. And that's the battle. That's a level up. That was a lot of defense there. Impossible, you defeated the mushroom traps. I mean, yeah, they weren't really necessarily that hard. Oh, ouch. Kashing, are you all right? Y yes We're so glad to see you. Where are the others? Some were killed. Some were taken prisoner. Only a few of us managed to escape. Let me help you free the captives in Gundal Fort. Kashing the Knight has joined the Shining Force. Nick, we found the Guardiana soldiers. Let's go save them. I mean, we technically didn't find them yet. We just know where they're at. But yes. Back to camp we are, and I am definitely going to uh, raise um, Claude. Kashing, who honestly is level 11. He's not promoted yet, which is kind of weird, but nice because he has some pretty dang good defense for quite a bit of the game if you actually put him in your party and level him up over time. But honestly, it's a do you want to wait until you hit level 20 with him sort of situation or do you want to just promote him like right away? His HP and such like that is pretty decent already as it is compared to like most of my party and this is before promotion. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good. He'll be a decent tank, a decent tank indeed. So I kind of have to decide if I want him in my party or not. But thankfully the next battle he gets put in your party regardless. So whoever is your 12th person in your party lineup will get knocked out for Kishing anyway. So it is what it is there. But before we actually decide on if I even want him in my party to begin with, let's actually promote whoever I can promote. In this case is Mayfair as well as Kishing. Kind of debating on that, but we definitely want to promote Mayfair because it's been a long time coming. And so she now finally gets to become a vicar. Which is kind of funny considering it's abbreviated to V-I-C-R and that's still technically said the same way anyway. And now that she's promoted, I'm debating on actually kicking her out of my party because in Shining Force CD, she is a book one character only. So I don't even really get the user in any other storylines later on. So leveling up. It's kind of pointless. She does learn Aura, which is a really good healing spell that can just target most everybody on the field, depending on this level. Very useful compared to heal. It's just... I definitely... I think I have a lot of healers already. She's a really good healer, and she is a good attacker, but I'm still debating on that. Either way, next time I Azure plays more Shining Force CD, we're going to head to the Gundal Fort. I'll see you all then.